it's Carl Brown for GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're going to learn how to play Piano Man by Billy Joe on the guitar. So this is a nice one. It's got a lot of chords that move pretty quickly. Now, none of the chords are really that hard to play if you can play a basic bar chord, but they go by pretty quick. So that is makes it a really good chord workout. But we have just a few different uh, chord progressions to learn, and you can get it all underneath your fingers. We're in standard tuning here. You can play this on electric or acoustic, so don't worry about that. Now we do have a little intro where he plays two chords with a little bit of uh, lead work on the piano. And that is, I'll just show you those two chords in the intro that you'll hear before the main rhythm comes up. So that's going to be a D minor 7. And then you can see him basically just rotate back to this. So I'll just show you these chords real quick. We just have a bar with the first fret across the high E and the B string, then the second fret on the G, and then the open D. And then no more bar, you're just going to hold the first fret there on the high E string and then the first fret on the G string. And just play the open D and the open B with it. So just kind of hold those for the duration while those, obviously we can't really do those, hold these chords and do those same piano licks. But then we have that main progression which is what I played at the beginning of the video. Um, so that is going to start here with a C major chord. Now, what also makes this great is it's got a very simple right hand rhythm throughout all the chords in this song. So it really lets you concentrate on the chords. So let's talk about the rhythm on this first chord. We have this C major chord. You're going to pick the lowest note, so that's the, just on the fifth string there, and then you two down strokes strumming the chord. You might want to just pick the bottom string and then all the other strings, the fourth through the first strings, just with two down strokes. Then you, then you're going to continue that same rhythm on every chord. The next chord is going to be a G major chord with a B in the bass. So what you're going to do is just play like a standard G major, but instead of playing the sixth string, just the lowest note will be in the fifth string. So that will be the note you pick first in the picking pattern. And then just on the rest of the chords. Then we have an F major chord with A in the bass. This is first inversion. So you're going to have the open A string. And then you're going to do an F major chord on top of it. So that's going to be barring at the first fret on the first and second strings, second fret on the G string, third fret on the D string. So, so far we have. All right, and now we're going to do a C major chord with G in the bass. So this is a second inversion C major. So now you might be playing a C like this. What you need to do is take your third finger and move it over to the third fret on the low E, and then replace that note you just picked up on the fifth string with your little finger. So you still got the C there, but you have this third fret on the low E. And once again, pick the lowest note, and two down strokes for the rest of it. All right, here comes a bar chord, straight F major bar chord. If you don't know what that is, full bar at the first fret. Then you can play the third fret on the A, third fret on the D, and second fret on the G. All right. Now we have a C major chord again, but the lowest note you're going to hear is the low E open string. So it's a first inversion C major. So you hit the open string and then strum the C. So so far. All right, and now we're going to go to a D7 chord. So that's going to be the second fret on the high E string, first fret on the B, and then second fret on the G string. And the bottom note is going to be the open D string. So pick that. And then you're going to end it with just a G major chord, picking uh, the standard G, just the lowest note there, the third fret on the sixth string on the rest of it. So the first time through the chords, we're through it here, so I'll just go through them real slow. All 
All right, now we go through the same chords again with just one little variation. So it's starting with the C again. Same exact thing we did before. Everything's all the, way, the same all the way to this F. But instead of going to the open E now, you're going to go F straight back to the third fret G, and you're going to have an F on top of it. So how you're going to do that is you're going to do a little bar here at the uh, first fret on the high E and the B, second fret on the G, third fret on the uh, D string with your pinky, and then reach over and grab the third fret on the sixth string, this uh, low E string, with your third finger. So coming from that F. All right, so that's pretty much the entire uh, verse. So all together, both parts. Now we get to that little piano fill part, which we obviously can't do the little arpeggiating of the chords that happen in the right hand on the piano. But we can play a, a good kind of variation of it on the guitar so you can get the actual chords down without that little lead stuff. And it sounds like this. So we can get those little melody lines out of there. So it starts with just a C major chord. And then it's going to move to an F major with C in the bass. So just leave basically these two outside fingers there. And what you're going to do is move the second finger over to the second fret on the G string. So move it from the fourth string. And then lay your pinky down at the third fret on the D. So we have this. Then come up and grab this chord. It's the third fret on the A. Uh, fifth fret on the D, third fret on the G, and I like to double that with an open B string. And we're going to come back with that F. You really kind of want to accent this middle note. If you want that to be the top note, that's fine. Then pick it up and pick the open string by itself, open G, and then pick the um, the third fret there on the D that you already have in your hand, and then you're back to the C to start it over. And when you get to the C, it starts back over with the verse. Now you'll sometimes hear when he's going when he does the verse, and then he. Does, goes back around to do it again, he'll do this. So that's just going from that C to that F with C in the bass. And then he goes right back to the rhythm. So you're going to hear that a couple times. All right, so you're also going to hear this little, um, he's like la di da part that he does. And it's in A, uh, he does it off an A minor chord. So it sounds like this. Alright, so that part is just an A minor chord, same rhythm that we did before, starting with an A minor. So you're going to pick the open A string there first. And now reach over and grab the third fret here on the low E string, pick that first, strum the same A minor. And then we're going to have a D major chord. And you're going to have this F sharp in the bass, so reach over and grab your thumb here, the second fret there on the low E. If you want to grab it like this, you can or however feels more comfortable to you. So we have. And then the F major chord. But he has a little melody in there. It goes. So you basically 
pick the regular F, and then lift up so you can pick the open B string. Alright, then we're back to the A minor. Back through the third fret in the bass there, the G. And then we have the... Okay, so we go back to that D uh, major chord with the F sharp in the bass. You hold it twice as long. And it basically does this little... There's a little bass line in there. So it's a two, then the open, back to two, and then to three, and that takes you into a... When you play the three, that should be a full G major chord to start the picking pattern. And we start this little descending bass line. So, so far we have... From this G, top strings, and then we have go to the F in the bass, and then you're going to basically strum the top four strings, keeping the rest of the G there. Then that C major with E in the bass, to the low E string, followed by a G7 chord with D in the bass. So it's an open D string. And the rest of the str four strings, you're picking the four, third, and second string open, and the first fret on the high E string. And that takes you back. So from the G. Back to the main progression. All right, so it's a really nice chord workout and a great song. So all your friends will love it. So make sure you get it down right. All right, I'll see you again soon for guitarlessons365.com.